All right, we're back with more Dragon Age Origins. Before we set out here, I went ahead and redid some of my inventory stuff, uh, equipped a dagger because really a rogue shouldn't have a sword, so I went ahead and fixed that. We'll give that sword to Alistair. Uh, for now, let's go to the party camp, sort through some stuff, probably buy some health potions because I'm almost out of health potions. I believe I have enough money to do that. Sell I don't some understand. Stuff too. You look oh, like this? a woman. You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. Do they also wish to live on the moon? <laughs> That's as attainable. Sexist jerk. One of those things can't be true. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf, he doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. Can they? We'll see. Well, that was weird. Okay, Sten disapproves. Great. Let's go ahead and buy some are stuff. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? I got a cheese knife. Let's I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. So let's just sell the junk. Freed up a bunch of inventory. Can't use, like, any of this stuff. Uh... Cold resistance or electricity resistance. I don't really need any of that. We'll hold on to that. Maybe give it to the dog. Uh, well, obviously give it to the dog because nobody else can use it. But you know what I mean. He's only a three. That sucks. Oh, I guess that will do for now. If there's See what anything I say. can do for you, please, please tell me. Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a Grey Warden, it's only fitting for me to be as open. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there too, merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Hmm. Our kingdoms once spanned the length of Thedos, from majestic Orzammar to Kalsharok to glittering Darmalin far to the west. They say the gold and silver veins ran so thick through the stone of Darmalin that the entire city sparked. The Darkspawn took it all, of course. One by one, the old tigers fell, and then all that was left was Orzammar. But we were talking about how I ended up here, weren't we? One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit, and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the Darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. <laughs> well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I'd been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for them. The Lost Tides. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. You're quite welcome. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Uh, 
Look, we... We don't rob people, all right? We don't take things from people that need them. The things in the law's tides, what good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. People flee from the blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places <laughs> before the Horde descends, and we save these things. I take them away so the Darkspawn don't get them. Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. That's what I tell myself, too. Ah, these are dark times indeed. Dark times, my friend. Well, that's of enough course. for that for now. Good fortune to you and yours. Goodbye. That's enough chit-chat. Well, maybe we should talk to Liliana real quick. Yes. Well, here I am. Why Sorry about that. It was a life chantry. suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. All right, cool. We got some more approval. Um, let's go ahead and save real quick because I haven't saved recently. And I suppose we can try to head for the Circle Tower because that's where we were headed originally. I think I want to bring yes. Alistair, yes. Stan, and Indeed. bring Morrigan. Did I give Alistair his sword yet? I don't know. I'm going to have to check that when we get there. See what's up with that. Oh, crap. Ambushed. Who did we get ambushed? What shall we, do? <laughs> we got ambushed by wolves? Okay. Uh, can I change Alistair's sword while we're in combat? Probably not, right? Oh, again. Sweet. Try to do this together, people. Of course. Well, I <laughs> Alistair needs to level up too. God. I should probably take out that thing. Sten needs health already. I think we got this. We got this. Oh, there's a, a dragon? Oh, and they're not even going to be able to get to it. Great. Wonderful. They're not going to even make it over here, are they? It's up to me. Great. That didn't work out so well. Okay. No! Okay, let's walk around, you stupid... Very well. Direct me. You need direction. You can't do anything on your own, apparently. 
we got this. <sighs> Man, the AI can be kind of dumb. 